Hello and welcome to this new video. In this new video, we are going to explore how to create a patch from scratch using our new library, Tetrality 2. Tetrality 2 is the second installment in the Tetrality series, and it includes 20 new multi-sampled instruments and uh, a few features that were also introduced in the Tetrality 1.1 update. We are going to see those in action uh, later on in this video. So we are starting off by selecting any snapshot And uh, we are going to reset a lot of parameters here. We're going to reset the mixer parameters. We basically reset all the effects and the volumes and the pans to default values. And also I'm going to solo the first instrument and I'm going to select one instrument among the 20 new instruments available. We have um, an acoustic guitar played with fingers, uh, American Zeter, Celesta, David Harp, which is a Hebrew harp. Uh, it has only 10 strings and it's an ancient instrument. A few prepared piano, like felt piano, hammer piano, gazang, a gamelan, muted mandolin, a sitar, and uh, a pen cap guitar. We use the pen cap. We attach it to the strings and it makes quite a strange sound. You can actually hear it uh, by switching off the sequencer and just playing on the keyboard. Now, if I click on this button, the, you see the sound will be in the center, and not anymore just on one side of the sound stage. If I go into the mapping, I can extend the playable notes to the full range of my keyboard. Also, I can hear there is a scale. Um, it's a C major scale. I was playing actually C minor, but I, could, <laughs> I couldn't feel the difference between the E flat and the E. I'm going to select the C minor scale for uh, this um, patch. You can hear that the guitar has been multi sampled with uh, a fair degree of uh, realism, several velocity layers, and round robins. close the mapping and we have other instruments available. Um, I'm going to start with uh, the David Arp because it's quite a nice sound. And as you can see, when I play uh, above the, this G over here, there is no more sound. So I'm going to extend the mapping. So now even if uh, the real harp doesn't include these notes. I have them available. So I'm going to create a custom sequence for this. I'm going to set the speed to bass time and I'm going to set it to eight steps only. I'm going to use the record function to input my notes. And um, by pressing the A0 key, I will be able to insert pauses or rests in my sequence. So I'm going to start with a C. Switch on the sequencer. So now if I were to move my notes around um, with DVZ off, I'm actually going to change the last note into like a third up. Yeah. And since the division mode is off, you can play two notes 
and uh, I will have two sequences, uh, each of them starting from the two notes. So I'm playing like uh, the C and the E flat. I'm going downwards, uh, playing thirds. But I could achieve the same effect by assigning uh, the same instrument on the layer two. So David Arp over here. And I'm gonna copy the sequence and paste it on the second layer and making sure that the timing is the same. And now, instead of playing the two notes now the moment is the same sequence so it would be just playing the same but instead of playing two notes i'm going to play only one and uh, set the harmonic shift to plus three on the second layer so now we can have a harmony happening just by playing one key only As I said, I could achieve this by being on Divisi On mode and then just play the two notes. But the advantage of the Divisi mode is that I could maybe stay on one note on the G with one finger and then just move the bass. have uh, completely separate melodies going on at the same time. Let's switch the Divisi mode off. And uh, for the second instrument, I'm not going to keep the David Harp that I'm going to choose. It's quite a nice sound over there. And... Uh, I'm gonna use Seagull. I'm gonna extend the mapping. There it is. So I can play everywhere now. I'm going to also lower its volume. I'm going to load a sequence uh, using the presets. So we have three types of presets, the rhythmic, the melodic, and the fragmented. The fragmented uh, presets are more sparse melodies, and sometimes they are very, very few notes that uh, kind of embellish the sequence. They are not really the backbone of a sequence. They're just uh, additions and little sprinkle of notes. Uh, I can just click on the name and uh, preview the sound. I'm gonna choose this one. So now when I play just one note, that's how it goes. Now I'm going to play together with the David Harp and see if they work together. quite intertwine nicely. Okay, I'm gonna solo the third layer instead and uh, choose another instrument over here. It could be the peak violin. I quite like it. And uh, I'm gonna record a new sequence with that one. It's gonna be 16 uh, steps and it's gonna be regular time. 
uh, record. Okay, so this is the result. The whole sequence is a bit too loud in terms of dynamic. So I'm going to click on the first note here and then shift. And now I can adjust all the velocity at the same time. Okay. And uh, let's listen with all the other ones. Let's uh, mute for a second this one. Okay, I'm gonna put the volume of the violin a little bit down. And I'm gonna put back the harp on its original position in the sound stage. So yes, I'm going to keep uh, as the layer for the tongue drum because it's quite nice. It plays on its own. It's like uh, this. Okay, so uh, let's just uh, make a very sparse sequence for this one. And I'm going to do like eight and record and then a few poses and then an octave high and another pose that's it and uh, yes i forgot this i'm gonna use the bass time The seagull is still a little bit too loud, also the tongue drum. And I'm gonna also change the convolution effect on the tongue drum and uh, use bloom. You can hear in solo. It's quite, quite a nice sound on there. And I'm gonna change also the master reverb. And I'm gonna do, 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 use a whole, whole, yeah. Okay, let's see the mapping of the tongue drum, full map. I have uh, changed the octave of the tongue drum here, so it separates a little bit better from all the other sounds. And this is just by playing one note only. To take advantage of the DVZ mode, I can access the settings over here. And uh, if I played two notes, I can uh, have the layer one playing the root note, and then all of them playing the root notes actually, except for layer three, which is going to play the second note. So the violin 
is going to play the highest note of the two and all the others are just going to play the lowest note so Or I could have the fourth layer as well play the second note. So I could also change the second note and do things like this. Point, uh, my scene is kind of uh, pretty much done. I could copy this scene onto scene number two. So copy everything and select number two and paste. So at this point, you see the same instruments are loaded and all the same settings, and also the same sequences. But I will change something on this sequence over here, layer 3, and I'm gonna double the speed. So now it plays like this. Huh? And I'm also gonna lower the volume of the violin on this. So now when I change from uh, scene 1 to scene 2, also copy everything here and then paste it to scene number three and have maybe the arp off and the seagull off and just have this and maybe put the tongue drum an octave lower now then back to and then back to three. Let's set the DVZ off. And then. And then. mentioned the polymono switch as uh, one of the features that were added in Tetrality 1.1 update. For example, if we were to choose an instrument like the acoustic finger guitar, which sounds like this on its own. In mono mode, which as this uh, info tells me needs to be on Divisi on, and then I can turn it into mono. You see that in mono mode, the previous note is kind of stopped by the newest note. And it's useful when you have kind of busy sequences, like let's just select, uh, let's just record a very busy one. And then let's also make a double time.
and I also could, uh, since this is layer 2, I could go to the Divisi settings and uh, have the second note on layer 2 and all the other one, the root note. And now I have... Uh, Obviously, we have also the randomizing feature, which is quite deep in uh, Tetrality 2, as it was in Tetrality 1. And we can just experiment with one. Like, um, I'm going to do all the scenes at once and all the sequence, and I'm going to randomize the sounds, and all will have the same four instruments. So let's see what we get. Press randomize. So that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. So Tetrality is available now in the website, olifaya.com, and um, thank you for watching, have a good day, bye.